Hello everyone, this is Mayank Sangvi from vlemon.com and I'm back with another Google Cloud Compute Engine tutorial video. And in this video, we will learn how to enable gzip compression for Nginx on Ubuntu 18.04. For this video, we are going to refer this blog post. The blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon. Before enabling the gzip compression, let's understand what is gzip compression. Gzip is a way to compress data. It commonly used for web apps and website. HTTP protocols have an ability to use gzip compression. When we request a page by entering any URL in the browser, the web server compresses the data based on the request and send back it to the browser. At the browser, data will decompress and display it to the end user. Now you may ask why we need to use gzip compression. To answer this, I have some simple files. We are going to upload those sample files on server and then we are going to load the sample file inside our browser. We are also going to compare the download size for the files before enabling the gzip compression and after enabling the gzip compression. So let's start open the SSH terminal. The first thing we need to open SSH panel. This is my SSH panel. So let me arrange my SSH panel in my blog post because I want to copy commands from my blog post. Okay, the first thing I need to upload some sample files. So let me first open and display the sample files which we are going to use in this video. So these are the sample files which we are going to use in this video. The first one is the JPEG file which size is around 5 MB and we have three one text file with extension .css and in this we have nothing. Uh, we have 1111 one, one, one in entire file and its size is around 4 MB. We are going to rename the same file for JavaScript and we are going to use the same file for HTML. Then we are going to compare the download for our sample HTML page before and after this compression. So let's start. Let me first upload this two file. For this I am going to open my SSS terminal and I am going to click on this uh, gauge icon. And finally, I'm going to click on upload files. So let me select this test1.css and it is going to take some time. So let me pause my video. Our test1.css is uploaded successfully. Let me select our another file. So I'm going to select upload file and this time I want to upload lemon jpeg wait for upload to complete our image file is also uploaded successfully so let me click on close now the next thing let's create a sample index.html file next thing i need to move this two sample files inside our where ww html or web root directory let me first type ls okay this is two file test1.css and lemon.jpeg and let me move both of this file one by one so i want to move test one dot css into where ww html web root directory and let me again use this command to move our lemon dot jpeg file inside our where ww html directory let me quickly open our where ww HTML hit enter list all the files so we have our sample files now we are going to create a sample HTML file let me quickly create a copy of test1.css test1.css I'm going to name it HTML index.html and I'm going to simply rename I want to edit this index.html file so i'm going to open this index.html inside nano editor so content for this css javascript and html file is almost same so let me start with html this is the html content for our sample index.html file let me quickly save this file Control o and we need to create one more file test1.js so let me close the nano editor and again i'm going to use the copy command to create a copy for test1.css and this time i'm going to rename it to 
test1.js and let me quickly confirm we are using the correct name yes test1.js okay now this time i'm going to open this index.html inside our browser so i'm going to open this and let me quickly confirm my server ip address okay so this is my server ip let me copy this and i'm going to open this http colon so this is the image file and let me quickly resize this image file because it is occupying i think entire page so let me quickly add size attribute for image file so i added height and weight and now let me so i open i open index.html inside browser i also open developer tools to check the performance for this index.html let me quickly disable the cache because i want to check the actual download size for index.html so after page refresh this is the output this first one is index.html and for this the size is 18.1 kb we have the same content inside test1.css but for test1.css the size is around 3.9 mb the same file test1.js the size is 3.9 mb the size for lemon.jpg file is around 5.5 mb so the total download size for this index.html is around 14 mb now this is without gzip compression by default gzip compression is enabled for html so if i am i'm going to click on this ip address and if i am going to check headers so inside headers i am able to see this content encoding gzip if i am going to check the headers for other files gzip compression is missing so how enable gzip compression for this let me minimize this and i am going to again arrange my windows so from my blog post i need to some, uh, copy some command to enable gzip compression we need to edit the nginx configuration file to edit the configuration file i'm going to copy this command and then i'm going to paste it inside our sss terminal now our configuration file is open in nano editor let me scroll down and this is gzip setting okay by default gzip is on let's uncomment the remaining lines and finally the file types so this is for gzip setting apart from this if you want to add this line gzip min length feel free to add what is the purpose of this line this line is going to tell nginx don't compress file whose size is less than 256 bytes there is no need to compress such small files so if you want to add this line you need to copy this and simply add it here control v to paste apart from this inside my gzip types i added some more types the first one is the application vnd ms font object so let me copy this and i'm going to add it at the end similarly i'm going to add this this is all for fonts and then i'm going to add this one open type again is for font and this is for xml and svg images this is for icon and finally in the end i'm going to add a semicolon so i added some more types if you want to add more types feel free to do it but ignore jpeg png gif and other image format why we are going to discuss it later so we are done with the configuration let me press control o hit enter to save these changes and control x to close our nano editor to apply these changes we need to copy this command we are going to first test the nginx configuration so let me copy this i'm going to paste it here hit enter everything is okay now i'm going to copy the second command to restart our nginx services this time i'm going to refresh our this sample html file refresh it our page is loaded successfully now the size for html is around 4.4 kb 
The size for test 1.cs is around 4.2 kb. Size for 11.jpg is around 5.5 mb and finally the size for test 1.js is around 4.3 kb. So total effective total download size is around 6 mb. Now to answer why we need to use zzip compression this is the answer if compression is enabled nginx server is going to compress the text file and it is going to send the compressed html file to the browser then browser is going to unzip or uncompress the css javascript and html file for rendering using compression we can save lots of lots of bandwidth again it is also going to improve the web web page load time so this is a this is a method to improve your website performance now it's time to answer why we are not compressing the image file all the image format already use compression there is no need to recompress images if we recompress any images the result size may be the same or more that's why inside the configuration file we did not edit any image format ignore svg and xml file svg is actually a xml file i hope now you are able to understand what is this compression why we require this compression i think now you are able to enable this compression on your nginx web server so that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to click on like subscribe share it with everyone provide your feedback and see you all in next google cloud computing tutorial video some important rewards.